Good morning. This is Sister Marilyn. I'm here once more to share with you our daily devotion. The title of our devotion today is When in Doubt, Ask God for Direction. Every day we are faced with decisions and challenges in life. It is too difficult to make decisions when you have so many choices and distraction. In this world, we are, this world is full of distractions that if you are not careful with your choices and decisions, you will fail. Have you been going around the circle, not knowing what to do and where to go? When in doubt, humble yourself and seek God's guidance. He will direct you to the right path. One prayer in the Bible that caught me um, when I was seeking God's direction was Psalm 25, verse 4 to 5. It is the prayer of David when he was seeking God's directions and guidance. It says, Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are God who, sa who saves me. All day long, I will put my hope in you. Wow, that's amazing. That's a beautiful prayer. And this should be our prayer to us believers when, when we are seeking God's direction. We must humble and sincerely desire to be led by God in His righteous ways and the truth of His word putting our hope in God all day long. Not all day long only, but all the days of our life. This should be our daily, it should be part of our daily life, seeking God and asking Him for guidance so that we will not be lost. Another important verse that is very helpful when you are seeking for direction is in Psalm 25, verse 8 to 10. The Lord is good and does what is right. He shows the proper path to those who go astray. He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them His ways. The Lord leads with unfailing love and faithfulness all who keep His covenant and obey His demands. God is always, will always show us his, what is right for us if you seek Him. If we seek Him, that is what He said. Seek you first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto us. So that is number one. It's really very important to seek God in making the direction, the, uh, in seeking for the right direction in life, a purpose in life. As we obey God and His unfailing love and faithfulness, he will be with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He will show us the way. As we obey God, we will always be in the right path. If you are unsure about the things in your life, ask God to help you. Trust and have faith that He will direct you. Seek and ask God for guidance instead of looking for the world for answers. Some people, when they, they cannot hear from God because they don't seek, they go to the world. They, they go out there, have fun, um, go to the... Uh, sometimes they do wrong things just to, to forget the situation that they are in. But the more they are getting, the more they get lost because they, they are drifting too far from God. The enemy will use that to drive them or drift them, lead them to the, to the path that he wanted them to go. So be, beware, be careful about um, not uh, doing the right thing or not seeking God when you are making decisions. As you follow and obey God, you will be amazed of what He will do. He will lovingly show you the way. Always remember, no matter what situation you are in right now, God is always the answer, has the answer to His Word. Remember, our Bible, this Bible is our GPS. If you need a direction, go to your Bible. 
He will lead you. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to the right word, to enlighten you. And so that the direction that you will go is the direction that God is leading you. Don't trust yourself because ourselves uh, sometimes we we don't even we we don't even know what we are doing. Only God knows what is right. So my brothers and sisters, always remember, trust God. When you are in doubt, go to the Word of God for direction. And again, He is the antidote. The word antidote to uh, doubt or seeking. God's direction when you are in doubt is prayer and His Word. Trust and obey the Word of God. Thank you so much, my brothers and sisters. Another time, um, again, I thank you for spending this short mess, uh, listening to this short message. I hope uh, you can glean something from this. Again, trust and obey because God is faithful. He is faithful and He loves us so much. God bless. Have a blessed day.